The next most important topic around maximizing your benefit of marijuana is the delivery system that you choose to administer the marijuana. I'm going to do a brief overview of the most popular delivery systems, giving pros and cons of each, and giving my specific recommendations. Inhaled marijuana is beneficial because it has a fast onset, it's convenient, and it's easy to get the right dose. If you need one more puff or one more inhale, you can get it. On the other hand, inhaled marijuana in a smoked form is hot and irritating to the upper respiratory tract. It would be undesirable for people with COPD, asthma, and other respiratory diseases. When inhaling marijuana smoke, people sometimes use joints or marijuana cigarettes, pipes, or water pipes, also known as bongs and bubblers. What I recommend to most of my patients is a simple pipe made of glass or stone so that we know that no chemicals, um, varnishes, or glues from the material are actually being burnt and inhaled. I don't recommend using water filtration systems such as bubblers and bongs. While the water does cool the smoke, which makes it less irritating to the respiratory tract, it actually removes more of the cannabinoids and other beneficial compounds than it does remove the tar and carcinogens. This leaves you with a worse ratio of cannabinoids to carcinogens. This makes it so that you're going through your herb more quickly and burning it while a lot of the beneficial compounds are remaining in the bong water. Vaporizers are an interesting and exciting method for uh, inhaling marijuana. It carries the same benefits of smoking, such as fast onset and easy to titrate the right dose, but it prevents the harm associated with the smoke and the irritation of heat. A vaporizer basically warms the herb enough so that the oil evaporates, but the plant matter doesn't burn. Because all of the beneficial compounds are in the oil of the buds, you are able to inhale these compounds without inhaling the smoke. Vaporizers are becoming more accessible and less expensive, and this is a method that I strongly recommend to my patients. Now with all the delivery systems, you'll notice that it actually gives a different quality of medicinal effect, even if you're using the exact same strain of cannabis. This is because one delivery system versus the other changes the ratio of cannabinoids in the medicine. There is more than 60 and probably more than 100 total cannabinoids that have been identified in the marijuana oil. We've studied THC and CBD the most, but we know that it's the ratio of all of these various cannabinoids that creates the specific medicinal effect. Since each individual has a different internal environment, everyone may respond in a different way to one delivery system versus the other. And this is why it's important for you to take this information that I'm giving you and apply it to your own situation. Maybe do a little experimentation to find exactly what's right for you. It's hard for anyone, a doctor, a caregiver, or a friend, to tell you exactly what's best for you, but armed with the right information, you can figure this out yourself readily. Another popular delivery system is eating the cooked cannabis. This has long-acting effects. When you eat this medicine, the digestive tract sends it to the liver first for processing. This creates a hydroxylated version of THC, which has a longer-lasting effect in your system and is sometimes more psychoactive. This is desirable for people that need a strong effect over a long period of time, such as terminal illness. One of the problems with eating marijuana is that it's very hard to get the correct dose. And once you eat it, you can't have a little bit more or a little bit less. Because each person has a different gut motility, and that can vary from day to day, it's hard to know exactly how much of the marijuana you eat is going to be absorbed. Again, making it difficult to get the right dose and making it easy to overdose on marijuana, which not only is unpleasant, it can actually exacerbate the symptoms it's trying to alleviate, and it can decrease your number of marijuana receptors, which leads to tolerance. In order to get the strong effects from eating marijuana, it must be cooked. However, there is some research coming out that eating raw marijuana buds or marijuana juice actually has beneficial properties that are not psychoactive, such as decreasing inflammation. Marijuana tincture is an exciting delivery system that may be the most applicable for the widest variety of patients. A tincture is a herbal extract that you find in a dropper bottle. You can take the dropper and measure an exact dose, put it under your tongue, and hold it in your mouth for a few minutes. The medicine gets absorbed through the mucosa in your mouth directly into the bloodstream, avoiding the first pass metabolism of the liver that makes it so much more psychoactive and long-lasting. The tincture has a slightly slower onset than smoking, 
but usually effects can be felt in five to ten minutes. This is convenient for people who don't smoke, who don't have a vaporizer. It can be taken um, anywhere discreetly and it's very easy to figure out the right dose and to maintain that right dose, a certain number of drops. Finally, marijuana has been used for thousands of years topically in a, the form of liniments and salves. These are very beneficial for itching, topical inflammation, and other skin conditions. It also is reported to help localized neurologic symptoms such as peripheral neuropathy. By using cannabis topically, you can avoid the psychoactive effects, which is useful for people who need the benefits of this medicine during the day when they're working and when the psychoactive effects might not be beneficial. So which delivery system should you use? The point is, figure out what works best for you. Try a variety of these different delivery systems and remember that each one will give you a different ratio of cannabinoids and will have a different effect on you as an individual. My most recommended uh, delivery systems are the tincture and the vaporizer.